Scorpio. What's up, water babies? What's popping? What's going on in the life of a scorpion for the month of July 2019? <laughs> Are you guys in this space of only focusing on your passions, allowing yourself to heal, and having some resonance when it comes to the mirroring effect of you and your person? <laughs> Welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot channel. I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out. I cuss. I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot. Just depending on what the hell these cards say, but I'm a cuss. So cussing don't work for you. Please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing. Because me, I'm going to do that. Okay? Uh, to the new subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. <laughs> We're really dysfunctional. We don't fight and fuss, however. We read that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss. We grow, we love, we share, we enlighten, we evolve. Poppy vibes only over here. We are one big happy family, all right? To the returning subscribers, hey, family. Did y'all miss me? Because I missed y'all. It's been popping. Y'all planet been out here whooping my ass. Pluto don't play with Mocha, okay? Neptune don't play with Mocha, and this retrograde and cancel show ain't finna play with Mocha, so my words may be fucked up. Pardon me if I take a deep breath and start again as if I'm a seven-year-old. Connecting with my inner child, it happens sometimes, damn it. All right? If you need a personal reason, that information can be found in the description. As this is not going to resonate with everybody, take what does, leave the rest. Thank you in advance for all the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the readings. You guys, I appreciate it. Speaking of readings, I currently go check the community tab because sometimes I've been noticing that you guys don't get all of my notifications. Uh, but go check the community tab. There is currently a special going on that's going to end tomorrow. I put on the 6th, but it's going to end tomorrow because um, I'm trying to get everybody out. And it may end on the 8th. Just, just get your damn special in, okay? Um, you guys, first and foremost, I love you. And just know that we are going to push through any and everything that comes in our way that, that, that thinks it's going to be a fucking hurdle. Because we're going to look monsters in the face because fear and doubt is not real and God is not the author of confusion. Do you understand me? This will be for my sun, moon, rise, and Venus as well as the cross watches for the sign of Scorpio. <clears throat> you guys, um, I'm going to start with the intuitive messages off the rip. What I feel with you guys, when I even with meditating and tuning into your energy, I felt this, for some of y'all, there's this energy of stillness. And I feel the energy of stillness is if some of you guys have surrendered your control around things or trying to control things or kind of weave things in the way that you want them to go. Okay. Others of you, there's this sense of not stagnancy, but a stop and reflect. Like you guys are doing a 180 for, for healing, okay, to ascend, but also to reflect on how far you've come. And there's a need to pat yourself on the motherfucking back because if you ain't showed nobody you's a boss or a bad bitch, you showed yourself, didn't you? Give yourself that credit. And stop needing other people to validate who you are, what you give, what you offer, what you can offer. Don't put yourself in a box, so therefore you show other motherfuckers what time it is as far as that box game, huh? Right? <clears throat> the intuitive messages that I got for you all for the month of July was guilt, blame, surrender, compromise, financial abundance, what's done in the dark, awakenings, communication, Past life, new home, controlling, controlling love, promotion, success, forgiveness, change, <clears throat> career, throat chakra, only see love, thief, self mastery, surrender, creativity, compromise. Okay? So that is the messages that I got for Scorpions. If this does resonate with you, those intuitive messages that resonate with you, this is definitely your fucking reading, okay? You guys flip it around. I'm not, you know, if, if it's for you, it's for you. If it's for the other person, it's for the other person. You know your damn life better than I do, okay? So rock with it. Roll with it. Mm, take control of me. Mm, 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 mm. Sometimes you got to have a dance break. Mm -hmm. All right, overall energy around the reading. <laughs> I'm goofy. You guys got the Queen of 
space, okay? So for some of you all, this has to do with your passion, uh, thing, endeavors that you're passionate about. For others of you, this has to do with a person, place, or thing, or situationship, okay, that you may be passionate about. Others of you, this also could have to do with you guys being a little hot in the pants during this time. Some of y'all are hot in the pants. Some of y'all is horny. I want to be touched. You want to be touched. Scorpio want to be touched. Scorpio want to be touched, okay? <clears throat> so a lot of you all may be uh, embracing the aspect of the divine feminine and actually um, being receptive to the feminine energy that is upon you. There's a need for you guys to also balance the masculine and the feminine aspects of yourself. One uh, promotes ambition, creativity, okay? The other one promotes healthy feelings, the way that you communicate, the way that um, you actually manifest, okay? Your, your, your inner self is the focus, Scorpio, okay? I'm doing something a little different this month. I actually, I, um, when I'm giving your angel messages, I'm also going to, I use Barbieri, okay, for some signs, for Taurus, four people fill out, okay? For you guys, you guys got three. Um, but this may be, uh, these signs may be, um, have some type of influence on what's going on for this month, okay? I got Aries. I got Leo. I got Virgo. Okay. So this could have to do with your partner, your children, um, boss. Okay. Take it how it resonates. All right. First angel message that you guys got was angel therapy. There's a focus on the heart chakra. Rose quartz may also be your bestest friend during this time. Okay. Angel therapy. Archangel Raphael. Give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens. Okay. So for some of you all, there's this releasing of trying to control every damn thing. For some of you all, you need to align with your part and with God's part. You'll find in doing this, okay, perspectively, that you holding on to shit that has worries around tomorrow, next week, next month. Hell, you got to be grateful and waking up every fucking morning. So that's not your part. We come here to live, to love, to trust, to stand firm on our faith as we learn, and to believe. And that belief comes with a knowing. So there's this aspect that one needs to know and have faith, even in things that we cannot see. Okay? Some of you all may be, um, some of y'all, your angels want you to know that you are hella protected during this time. There is protection around the healing of your heart space. It's safe to let go, Scorpio, I'm here. Some of you all, um, some of y'all could also be, there's a focus in, okay, if you are a mother figure, you could be having issues with your children. Your children could be a bit um, rambunctious is the word that I'm being told to use during this time. Um, for some of you Scorpio men, you may have um, you may have a teenage son or teenage son, especially if these children have a lot of fire or earthy in, uh, elements in their chart. This child, it's, it's dealing with your child, you're going to be forced even if you have daughters, I'm here. You're going to be forced to connect through the eyes of your inner child that's still in this space of um, rejection or being ignored or um, or that's still in this space of lacking, that lacking around that nurturing aspect to you. There's this need for you guys to connect through your children to heal your inner child. Because you're going to notice um, a synchronicity around patterns, okay, during this time. Some of you all, um, some of y'all also have, um, <clears throat> this could be a grandmother figure. A mother figure, someone who crossed over. I'm hearing four to eight. This could be four to eight years, four to eight months, okay. For some of you all, um, this person could have been a cancer, I'm hearing. During this retrograde, um, you guys are going to... Be connecting with an ancestor. You may be having vivid dreams, okay, of you and this person talking. For some of you all, there's this need to turn inward. The mastery of the self, in, in order to, there's this need to turn inward in order to see and harvest, see a harvest on what you're trying to project outward. So it's like a channeling of emotions. This person, this mother figure is going to assist you in your way forward with how to do so. Some of y'all are hearing great. So this would be a great grandmother. The next message that you guys got 
Yeah. And there can be peace and healing done with the throat with me with the with the yes, with the throat chakra as well as the heart chakra with speaking your truth, living in your authenticity, fuck the outside world and what the fuck they got to say. Okay? If it don't make you grow, if it don't help you to grow, it don't pay your bills, it don't assist you in ascension. Fuck that shit. Okay? Next message you guys got was peace. Archangel Chamuel, peace comes from remembering that only love is real, only see love, okay, so for some of you all, there's a need for you to let go of the, your worldly view, because I'm hearing conditioning, so for some people, this has to do with your, the way that you see love has to do with how you perceive love growing up, what you saw, okay, what you live, what you've experienced, for some of you all, there's a need to chop down the whole damn foundation as to what you know about love because for some of you all either you or another person knows love to be controlling knows love to be i'm hearing misogynistic knows love to be um burdens loss lack or fear of those energies externally or that that fear or fear of those uh vibrations coming forward to ruin some. It's like you are seeing the negative in situations before you even allow yourself to truly indulge in the positive situations. Spirit is saying you caring too much. Indulge in peace. Receive peace during this time. Some of you all may be releasing certain things, certain aspects of yourself. For some of you all this has to do with releasing someone who crossed over to the other side. Finally releasing. Finding that peace within your heart, that stillness. Others of you, you may be seeing doves, cranes, pelicans during this time. Some of y'all even may have some type of encounter with an owl. Some of you all are finding empaths. You actually can communicate. It's, there's a need for everyone. I'm getting the aspect of look up to truly connect with nature. Yes, I'm sitting back bugging. Yes, 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 I am. <laughs> Others of you, there is a focus on the sacral chakra during this time, okay? I believe that's the I do, okay? For some of you all, there is some type of, some of y'all, this could even be, for those of you who've been having gastric issues in the gastric area, who may encounter some type of gastric um, gastric issues, Spirit wants you to know that you are going to be okay. That's first and foremost. So don't put no damn focus. Don't put all your focus and worry to create some more shit that you got to worry about. But I feel that there's a need for stillness and the releasing of stubborn in order to receive understanding, to know how to come here. And the how to um, is different for everybody. But there's this energy of peace trying to be bestowed upon you. Okay, so let me break down this numerology setting here. <clears throat> Some of you all, if you're dealing with an Aries, either you're wanting to renew a, re, uh, renew a situation with this person. Some of y'all may be saying 555-111-888-666-1010-444. Um, also, a synchronicity of nines, okay? Some of you all, if you're dealing with an Aries, okay, you could be renewing the relationship, restarting, wanting to refresh, okay? Or going to some type of new beginning that you're passionate about with this Mars, Mars in... Leave Mars is in Leo, or it's going into Sagittarius or something like something like that. I believe it's in Leo though, um, but it has to do with the Mars. It has to do with you moving toward what it is that you're passionate about, moving towards your purpose. Some of you guys want to be healers. Others of you are very intuitive, but there's some type of tie around perception with religion. So there's some type of so, so you guys. Someone is self sabotaging, and they have a hell of a gift, but you won't share that. And it was a, I'm here in past life from this is a past life from this is a part of your soul contract baby release the fear fear and doubt ain't real face your monster look your monster in the face tell that motherfucker he's a liar okay if you're dealing with if you have Aries children there may be um, a restart or some type of situation surrounding that child you may be having either your child has some type of new beginning you can have an Aries daughter or son they may be expecting during this time okay. Others of you, this could also have to do with, again, new starts, new beginnings. And I think that this Aries moon in Leo, Aries moon, this um, Mars energy in Leo, uh, as well as the moon cycle, you're being called to use your, 
anything, any of your creative ideas, this is a good time to manifest them and move forward on them. To not get caught up in their retrograde energy, uh, their retrograde, their mercury retrograde and cancer energy to keep you stagnant. Okay, but there's this, there's this passion, this, um, this lust for, and some of y'all might be feeling real lustful behind the Aries, okay, but there's this passion, this lust energy to take leadership, to lead, you know, to lead. To transmute a situation. Hmm. Come on, spirit. <clears throat> Others of you, if you're dealing with a Leo, there could be some type of changes, okay? Some of y'all could also be hearing about a new child if you're dealing with the sign of Leo. Others of you, this person as well as yourself are going some type of going through some type of awakening, okay? So there may be five, when you're dealing with this particular person where there'd be a situation ship or boss. Some of you all may notice that you see five, five, five or synchronicities around the situation. There is some type of changes. For some of y'all, it's going to be a releasing to move forward. For some of you, there's some type of compromises or some type of renewal type energy or restoration type energy that is going to be presenting itself. Others of you, there may be changes around a relationship. Again, possibly with somebody else. Okay? Those of you who are dealing with the sign of Virgo, there's a, there, there's a need for harmony, for closure for some of you all um, to build on. Yeah, for some some of y'all are very, some of y'all are, look, some, you and this Virgo is mutual, baby. Some of y'all is, ooh, some of y'all is really, really, really burning up. Cause when I got to talking about Virgo, baby, my Kundalini went crazy. Listen, some of y'all is really hot for Virgo, okay? You want that Virgo, but, all the Virgo on sure. But, I do see here change, movement, new beginnings, as well as harmony, okay? So if you don't want to find a Virgo, some of you all, this may be a reconciliation, all right? You need to trust in the situation and not try to control how it goes and just find your float and go with it, okay? You are going through a rebirth during this time, okay? So for some of you all, this has to do with how you present yourself to the world, how you communicate, how you um, open yourself up to receive in order to receive that back. Open yourself up to be vulnerable in order to uh, receive that back. Some of you all are definitely going through rebirth as far as how you see things, how you how you view things, the things that you value, um, the thing that the things that really matter to you. Some of y'all are there's a focus on family and children during this time. A lot of you all. Some of you all are going through a transformation. You're releasing things that does not assist you in moving forward. This is not a, that is not going to um, assist you in ascending on your path, baby. And as of you, yeah, some of y'all are going to some some of you guys could also be, be be dealing with inheritance issues or hearing some type of um, some of y'all may be finding out that you were left out of something or you're trying to control a situation or control how everything goes since you don't take some type of financial loss. You could be dealing with the fire sign who's doing this. Some of you guys could be ending a situation with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or going through some type of rebirth in order to start anew. There is something coming to harvest, okay? So something is getting ready to, um, some of y'all is going to be learning some type of information that's going to assist you with uh, completing a cycle. But some of you all, this has to do with uh, someone trying to be greedy and their own greed is their demise. For others of you, it's harvest time. Whatever it is that you've been uh, putting your attention, your time into, some of you all may also be receiving promotions, okay? For some of you all, um, there is this energy of selfishness. There being some type of rebirth or rebirth or transformation around how someone views material, the material aspect of their being, okay? And for some of you all, this has to do with you guys completing the cycle or, um, Possibly come to some type of compromise or some type of stability here or or an understanding having to do with someone's mother or a mother figure overstepping their boundaries. Some of you guys are dealing with someone who's very greedy, who's very ungrateful on here, and they're very controlling. And some of y'all may find out that someone was hiding money or is hiding money. And for some of y'all, someone could be trying to use money to control the situation or is afraid of losing, um, losing. It's like somebody want to have their cake and eat it too, but it's not that you can't do it because what the fuck are you supposed to do? Cake, like you're supposed to eat it. All right. But somebody, 
Somebody took the big piece from the birthday girl, man. Like, you can't do that. I mean, I feel like somebody, they don't just want cake. They want half the damn cake. And the other half, they're going to ask how, you, you, they're going to ask you, you know, what's taking you so long to, you know, get you a piece of it. What's taking y'all so long to work that out? Like, somebody has to control every aspect of everything. And it's really, it's really starting to boggle you down. It's blocking your focus for some of you all. Some of y'all, this is blocking your finances you're needing to release. Some of you all, you're needing to release and um, release via your creativity, okay? Here, what messages do you have for my Aries? Some of y'all are definitely just going to find Aries. For my Scorpions, some of Rising Venus, as well as Cross Watchers in Love. Yeah. Some of you guys, some of you guys want to move forward, okay? Are you planning to move forward during this time or someone's going to be moving forward towards you? For some of you all. You want to just do. You feel as if justice and justice will go in your favor with it popping out, okay? Some of you all uh, could possibly be dealing with the sign of Libra as well. But some of you all want to express how you feel about a situation. And I feel like it's going to occur very quickly. And this could have been a situation where someone really wasn't expressing how much they really felt about a person in the past, okay? It could have been only a sexual connection or someone could have moved away or because they offered their cup of love elsewhere because they felt it just yeah, someone here wants a commitment. Someone here feels that this Ace of Cups, this new love, this divine partnership um, is their just due, okay? And for some of you all, you're confused about continuously offering your cup to a person uh, that you, yeah, and for some of y'all, this could have to do with a twin flame, okay? A twin flame, a past life soulmate, okay? Or someone, this could be someone definitely who y'all was married to in a previous life and had children with. And I feel like the issue the hurdle was letting go of something else, letting go of control and some type of resistance, okay? For some of you all, whew, some of y'all with the strength card popping out, it's fell on top of the Justice card and the Ace of Cups, y'all, in reverse. Y'all know I don't read reverse, so I'm getting ready to turn around, turn it around, and Spirit was like, no, leave it. So there, for some of you all, there is some type of commitment that is not going the way that you would like it to go with the Leo. Like, there is something that you feel it could be blocking the connection, okay? For some of y'all, this has to do with somebody trying to be slick and do something unfavorable for things to go their way in the justice system. And to be honest with you, if you're dealing with a Leo, it's not. I feel like, yeah, some of you guys could also, some of you guys could also be wanting to, some of y'all want to leave a job. And some of you guys have invested a lot in a situation possibly with an earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo. This could be definitely be the mother or father of your child when we have the king and queen of pentacles. Some of you all, you want to work on a situation because of all that you've invested that you don't, you're afraid that the judgment may not be in your favor, okay? And this could have to do with the, I'm hearing legacy, but the rectification of a family situation, okay? Some of you guys are afraid that somebody going to put you with their damn words because you're really not with the bullshit right now. It's like, like I'm opening up. I'm being vulnerable here, you know, and I feel like I'm trying to push my way and push my way into this compromise with this new cycle that we're going into to get what it is that I want. But ultimately, you do have new love here. OK, so some of y'all are definitely there's a focus on new love, new beginnings and new opportunities for some of y'all here in travel. So some of y'all may have to travel to a new place for work. And baby, the coin looks nice here with the king and queen of Pentacles. So for some of you all, this possibly has to do with you going into some type of partnership with your partner. Some of you guys, this also could have to do with you building something stable, wanting to focus on legacy, focus on family, focus on what it is that your kids can grow from. Let me clarify. Fair wise, the will of fortune is. Some of you guys could also be ending a cycle um, with an Aquarius, with a Taurus, with a Leo. With a Scorpio like yourself, you wanted something stable. Some of y'all definitely are going to open up and offer your cup of love to a Cancer, and I definitely feel some of you guys thought that your Ace of Cups was possibly a Leo. For some of y'all, you thought it was a Pisces. You're finding out that for some of y'all, it's a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, a Gemini. Others of you, it's another water sign like yourself. Cancer. So some of y'all could be leaving one water sign and moving to another one, and this looks dope, you guys. Okay. Um, others of you, you could have been stagnant in receiving an offer possibly from a fire sign. Maybe you don't, you're like, you, you want to move forward, but it's like this, you, you look at this person as being defensive and 
you know, not willing to work with you. I feel like you could want a family with this person. And for some of you all, this has to do with their family. Like some of y'all could have disturbances from a baby mother or a child's mother or a child's father. And I feel like you're, you're looking at the situation as if, you know, is this shit even worth investing in? Some of you guys are living in the past. There's a need for you guys to move away from what, 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 what was in the past. Somebody here is going to express some emotions, get out their damn head, and move away from the fear of what could happen in a negative way. It could also go bad, but you won't know if your ass don't go. Why is the wheel of fortune here? Yeah. Some of you guys are ending a cycle, ending a cycle that, 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 that some of y'all, this could also just be, especially for my, for my married and committed couples, this could also be the toxicity around the ways of a person, okay? When we say a new beginning, we're renewing, okay? Restoring the love in order to renew for a healthy, for, for a healthy growth, okay? Why is the chariot here? Why is the chariot here? Yeah. Some of you guys could have rejected a cancer in the past. Some of you guys could have had someone move away from you and make you feel rejected. For some of you all, it's like there's a need to see things from different perspectives, okay? Because I definitely feel like some of you all are dealing with someone who could have been defensive or made you feel unclear to as to how they feel. They could have moved away from you or this could have happened to you. You could have moved away from another person because you were unclear with how they feel. But this person definitely wants to invest. I feel like some of y'all are dealing with somebody who, for one, some of y'all are dealing with somebody who got daddy issues. It's like it's, a, it's, a, it's tied to an ancestral cycle, okay? Maybe this person was raised by a single mother, and so they're missing that know-how-to aspect. It's like they're learning, as this person is learning through their experiences, and they've only experienced negative situations, because that's pretty much what they have put out. And so this person, this person, behind this defensiveness, behind this lion lies a lamb, a wounded lamb, and that lamb wants to show you their wounds but this lamb feels as if they're only accepted or they're only going to be accepted by you or they can only deal with you as a lion because there's a fear of being exposed like that that vulnerability makes someone feel naked why is the lovers here with the queen of cups some of y'all got a stomach that's a water sign or a gemini yeah some of you guys you're moving away from what was was in the past okay and you're focusing on the now, and in doing so, it's going to bring you abundance. For some of y'all, this has to do with anxiety around the reconciliation here with these three of cups and the ace of cups. Just know that you can release the anxiety because it looks to be very abundant, all right? Justice is in your favor. Somebody has some, somebody is attached to somebody who could have possibly had an outside child. Some of y'all going to go to court and find out Billie Jean is not your baby. Not It's not your kid. It's not their kid, honey. Why is the strength card here? Yeah, I said it. I said it. So what? Yeah. Some of you guys, um, some of you guys aren't confident, or this could be someone in your energy. For some of y'all, this could be a Leo, okay? But for some of you guys, this person, you may, you may feel as if you're giving more to a situation, or this person feels as if they're giving more to a situation, um, and it's becoming very stressful on the other person, and I feel like this person is going to speak their truth. Truth is, this is what I want, this is what I expect, and I deserve it, and I'm going to go get it, okay? This could be happening uh, going forward, or for some of y'all, this could have already happened, and this made a person kind of look at a situation different. Um, I feel like this put someone in reflection mode, or this is putting someone in reflection mode to kind of do a life review check, you know? Go back, you know, have this have this been a continuous situation or a continuous um, problem in my relationships, you know, versus pointing the other finger at another person, what is it that I need to work on so that I don't attract this anymore, okay? This is definitely about opening up, y'all. Somebody somebody has um, self-esteem issues here for damn sure. Someone feels as if they don't have enough, they can't offer enough, they can't be enough for another person. And that's simply not true. I just feel like somebody needs to write somebody a letter. Because I feel like the communication with me not having many, I got nothing but, y'all, nothing but pentacles. Fire. Okay, in cups, I don't have much, many swords, which lets me know not much, not much shit is being discussed. You cannot be communicating with this person. I do see a reconciliation happening, though. And for some of you all, there is stability coming to a situation. There is some type of reconciliation with a fire sign. 
Either you or this other person don't see it coming. Somebody focus on their work. Yeah. Yeah. But the situation, the outcome looks to be stable, baby. Hmm. <clears throat> stable, baby. Y'all got hold up. Hold them up. Swell them up. One, two, three. And the other deck that I was clarifying, you guys end with this. <laughs> the Ace of Hearts. New love. New shmoney. Straightforward. Loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. It's what I expect. That's all I ask for. And it's free. It takes compromise, understanding, the releasing of control, communication, and comprehension of what's being communicated. A clear understanding and bam, everything falls in alignment, okay? Releasing of the lack, the lack mentality of what we don't have, what we don't see. Seeing, seeing the things are not going in our favor because we can't see them going in our favor. There's a lot of divine intervention in this shit here, too. I definitely feel, Scorpio, you are the magician, okay? You have everything you need to transform the situation. But I feel like for some of you, all this have to do with self-mastery. Self-mastery in the self, that knowing, that faith. First off, y'all got the Ace of Rods right here. Hold on, I've been running my damn mouth. I'm trying to show y'all now. Y'all got the Ace of Rods right here. Y'all got three Aces right here. You got the Ace of Cups right here. Hold on. Boop, 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 boop. All these Aces. Yeah, y'all had two Aces in here and then three Aces in the clarifiers. So just know, Victor, justice is on your side. Stop attaching to an outcome like, okay, well, I want that person. That Okay, well, if shit don't work out, it does work out. Even if you can get closure, it works out. Because now you can release, release that situation, learn from it, and know what not to do and to do going forward. There's a need for you guys to find gratitude and, 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 and literally exude the attitude of gratitude. Because, of course, we know that that is what reigns in our damn manifestations. You have to become one with what it is that you're trying to manifest. Period. Okay? So this is what I hope this resonates with y'all, y'all. This is what I have for you guys for the month of July. I love you all very, very much. And I will see you guys mid-month. Love y'all. Namaste.